Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Do. Today I have with me Pika Shade. Hey again. Yep, and we are continuing with our our crisis coverage. We're not doing Flashpoint because going back over that, it was just so tacked on at the very end. We kind of realized, no, maybe not. So instead, we're doing the next best thing, the one that's more crisis-like, even though it's event, it's effects. Aside from introducing John Kent and a few other things here and there. Really weren't that felt. Mm. I even yeah, remember when this came out. You do you, you you said you do? Uh, yeah, I, I remember when it, it was coming out more or less. Yeah, this is just meant to be a fill in, you know, fill the void and everything, but yeah. it still had it was but, a two month epi month. Yeah, but event they were moving to Cal to California. Yeah. But for what it was, this wasn't a bad project, all things considered. Yeah, that is true. But it does pick up right after, it picks up after two events. The um, Earth 2 um, World's End and um, Superman Doomed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Earth 2, I'm very familiar. I wrote on another kind of one of those three do's on it. Yep. I... Uh, but yeah, we open up. Now, this first issue is co written with um, Jeff King, who. I thought he wasn't that bad. I kind of wish he actually stuck around, but I, I can't, don't blame him for the stuff turning him off the comics, writing him. This first issue is co-written with Dan Jurgens, and the main menu be co-written with Scott Lobdell. Hmm. Yeah. Where am I? How did I get here? The last thing I remember is Brainiac infected me with the Doomsday virus. The black hole. I pulled him in to save Metropolis. Did that bring us here? No, Kryptonian. Real docs led you here to me, who, no matter the universe or timeline, you demand attention. Brainiac! No, not Brainiac. Who are you? Where are we? Send me back to Metropolis. Your friends in Metropolis are beyond help, hero. You should concern yourself with your present, because here, outside of time and space, if you do not pass my test, you will die. You think I care about threats? Where's and where is Dox? We came here together. I want to see him. I have questions. Dox is no more. There is only Brainiac. Yeah, at the end of my doom, it was pretty much implied that he was absorbed into this Brainiac. Yeah, born. this yeah. was um like if we go back to the uh, the very first actual in the Superman Brainiac's first appearance in, in the well first appearance in the Superman Unbound or also the Brainiac story. It was it was made so that Brainiac is as a twelfth level intellect trying to uh, add, to evolve his knowledge and so become yeah. a higher intelligent being. This is Brainiac pretty... succeeded, succeeded it, but in a way that mm. hurts him. That was not what he wanted. Mm. They're each one an unknown extension of my consciousness. Bill Doc served his purpose. What purpose? To break your famous resolve. To kill you or be killed by you. You kill Brill Dox? No, Superman. You did. So small and weak, a figure, and yet you are the embodiment of a constant threat. You evade even my most promising experiment. Experiment? On a scale too massive, too universal for your small mind to comprehend. Try me. I am. I test you even now. You call this a test? Why? Why am I here? There to serve a larger purpose. Ah! You asked where we were. There is nowhere. So if I were to name it, <coughs> this is where I watch you die. A crucible. Now I gotta say, yeah, EBS's artwork on this was very good. Yeah, it's it's kind of how he's trying to. Yeah, yeah. These are all the deaths that Superman had. There's the death, death. Earth two ones dead, and, that, and that's the Jerry Siegel's. The yeah, Jerry Siegel. The there's All Star Superman, which isn't technically a death. Yeah, yeah. Kingdom, Kingdom uh, with Mogog. Uh, that and... last one there was uh, Red Sun. That's not how it happened. Uh, yeah, unless he just died somewhere before they reached the the uh, Earth, Red Sun. The sun yeah. turning to Red Sun. Uh, I don't know that Batman one, but way back there, that's also from the Kingdom. Him being oh. no, no, uh, him being stabbed with the or that's meant to be the movie. Uh, the one with the something sticking out of him. DC Universe Online. Oh, okay then. 
But I don't know what this one is. The yeah, Batman that's a standing... weird one. Yeah, Batman standing over him. I have no idea. It's, it's Batman Beyond. Unless it's about futures and rep or something about. Maybe, maybe. But anyway. A crucible where each of you, you doomed hero and doomed timeline alike, is called to account. Each of us from every doomed timeline here collected, except in your case, where I watch endlessly as each extension of me is subdued by one of your alters. So basically, this is taking the whole what we found, what was revealed in Superman Brainiac, the main story about the um, drones. But they're implying anyway that this is the true Brainiac and all other Brainiacs across the multiverse are extensions of him. Like avatars. Yeah. Which, would, well, Which then would create their own drones would become other versions of Brainiac. Hmm. Something of a... Uh, like that, that thing that Grant Morrison tried to uh, establish with Dark Side. Oh yeah, the, where Dark Side is the only one, and all other versions. Although that would explain, that would not explain the ones where he died. No, those can be like non-canon imaginary stories. But no, then, the, but no, then those were made made canon with Dark Crisis and yeah, and I was saying, logic so went out the window. But even then, even by um. Dark, uh, Death Metal and some of the other ones where they say the multiverse is back. If some of those multiverses are back, then those, some of those Earths are one where Darkseid died. But they keep saying, oh no, he's a universal constant. Moral. Could it also be like, like look from that point of view that uh, the, the uh, connection to that avatar was broken? My, the only other way I can look at it is that up until Infinite Frontier and Death Metal, all those were on his broken parts. And then by Infinite Frontier, that's when he supposedly becomes the true dark side again. Hmm. So that could be the explanation. Because I think hmm. Infinite Frontier even had him deal with a guy who was pretty much a Thanos knockoff. And he claimed you were one of my ciphers or something. Yeah. So maybe the ones that die are the ones that are not true dark sides. Hmm. But anyway, each time he, he's been showing all like another Superman fought him as well. Uh, the Doomsday Monster, you killed him. No, I watched him die. His death would inform your transformation into the Doomsday Monster. Uh, you infected me with the Doomsday virus. I would have, ha and I would ha and have had you succumb to me, where instead, and in, had you succumb to something as basic as a monster. I won't die on your time. Not today. Never. You should know you have already attempted that 32 times. Perhaps I should let you remember. I am always intrigued by those who triumph over death, and I have what I want from you. Information. I know of your world, your cities. If you think I'll let you destroy Metropolis, not destroy Superman of a little imagination, nor do I refer to Metropolis. Where are you? Where are you? Go Brainiac! What did I do? Come back. What did I give away? Wait, Brainiac, if what you want is my life, come back for it. But don't uh, home. have to get home. <laughs> Finally, need to get home before nothing around for miles. Correction, millions of miles. Where am I? No stars, rocks and scorched earth. Nothing, not even water. How did I miss that? Hmm. Who? Wait. Come back here. Uh, uh, where? Gone. Took too long to escape. My power's wonky. Is your city. There you are. Wait. Come back. You are Kellel, the Kryptonian. But well, where is your city? My city? Why don't you ask the guy who brought me here? Brainiac, where is he? I am Brainiac. Not, hmm. the, not the one I was talking to. I want him back here. Now. He is gone. Liar. Where is he? My Brainiac, the one who chained me up, the one who left me to die. You escaped? My master was right to be concerned about you. In every timeline, it always ends with you. He was heading for my city, my Earth. I need you to take me there. So you do have a city. My home, Metropolis. I need to get there before he does. Oh, just a sec. I'm pretty sure this is a scam call. Hold on. Reminds me also put on mute. Yep, scam call. I hate those. Uh.
Especially when it's such an obvious recording, like, hello, it's Mark there. Oh, well, if you're here, it's just like, shut up. Yeah, I have, I have basically set up so that it's it actually just said suspected of being up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing, and I just. But you never know, though. Anyway, if that mm. is your city, I have a metropolis. Several, in fact. Each of them filled with people. I am their keeper, tasked with their survival. Earth, that's where I need you to take me to. Oh, I cannot do that. But I have many other cities here, many metropolis of other worlds. Uh, enough to find at least one you will like. They and find, and find one I'll like. Why? The master has not returned. The emptiness is overwhelming. If what you're saying is there was one brainiac in charge of several extensions, aren't you one of them? I am far more and more, far more. I am the keeper of his cities. Behold, how splendid are my cities. Which one do you choose? Tell me, I will take you there. None of them. No more tricks or games. Stand your ground. You are not a good guest, Kryptonian. You do not appreciate what's given to you. And you don't sound like um, brain, the Brainiac I know. Your father was... And look, he turns it into the um, animated version. Mm. Your father was admired by the master. Oh. All across all there is, many times over, your great Kryptonian scientist father enabled you to escape death. The master went to your Earth to recover its timeline, but he has not returned. Why? What happened? What did you do to him? I've been here all along, but you were the threat. When? I have no idea how long I've been here. How long? Time is meaningless here. We are outside of and time's flow. You are dangerous, Kryptonian. The master was right to perceive you as uh, such. How do I handle that? Send me home! Do, uh, you still do not realize what's happening, Kryptonian. You are home. This building may say Daily Planet, but it's not the one from my metropolis. But it is here, as are many like it. Choose any you like. I supply those cities and their occupants with whatever they require. You require information. This place was once far different from what you see now. Life was in perfect and perpetual balance, the product of a living planet and a sentient design. Eventually, the master came and recognized his uniqueness and potential. He decided to shape it to his will. It was painful, terribly painful, but I endured. He needed me to support the life he would bring. Cities doomed in their timelines, brought here, that he might weigh their qualifications, investigate their merit. Outside of time and space, he moved me, where they could be judged. At the brink of their internal moments, suspended for all eternity out of time, moved you. You're the sentience, a living intelligence, the planet that explains your par and parlor tricks. I've known only the master, his variation, but I am not them. Who am I? 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 If you're going through an identity crisis, do it on someone else's time, okay? You're trying so hard to please this absent master. The absent master is gone, yet the cities must um, be cared for. My cities. You're, and you keep talking about cities, but I don't see any. Observe. Guess. And there are people in those cities. They're prisoners. So yeah, basically, he did it out of finding out all about it, and he decided to just pound on him. Until uh. he's finally um, forced to, you know, they, like the brain, your master. He said he was going to Earth, your Earth, mine. He wants to take a city from my my Earth and place it here, of course. But he's never returned, and now he finds decides to send him back. And okay, then what was the point of a lot of that? More or less, probably to introduce the concept to the. I know, but he gives us like, what, "What do you want? What do you want? Oh, you're like, okay, you're gone." Uh, but yeah, narrative there interested. was no per yeah. other purpose than to set up stuff. But I can say this Superman was a bit it was one of my problems with the new 52 Superman. Way more ready to punch first. Mm. Okay, yeah, and and yeah. it was his characterization that but anyway, um he could have grown out of. He could have grown out. In fact, he did under Morrison. Mm. But then all the other writers had to keep it. Finger, this, is where introduced to, this is where we're introduced to Telos, who was the mm. actual, who was disguised as the Brainiacs. Yeah. And yeah, that was issue zero. Just all, basically the whole idea is, um, instead of putting him in a bottle, uh, you know, bottle city uh, from each planet, he said took cities from each um, world. Mm. 
I mean, not a bad, uh, and not a bad idea of escalating it. Yeah. So yeah, this is we get to the main convergence line, and we open up with injustice first. You ignore yeah. me. You ignore yeah, my I... warning. But... Go ahead. This could have been the premise properly with, with the with the damn damn game. Yeah. With, with with all the different versions, living versions, and so on, it could have been just explained with this. Yep, like you finally got your powers back, but that's why you're here to make us beg. On the contrary, I'm here to watch your faces as Rome burns, bastard! Hey, bastard! You're actually enjoying this hardly. But when the people chose you over me, Batman, they sealed their face. Damn it, Superman! You want to save the world? Then prove it. Look beyond yourself. Just this once, you egotistical maniac. What good is get being invincible while was out a city left to lead? Without people to bow, scrape, and kneel to you? Gossip City is all but destroyed. Its citizens dead. You show up in time to pick out and pick over the carcass of a ruin. And now whoever destroyed Gossip is coming for us. Too late you and you see the light. You brought this upon hmm. yourself. You proved yourselves unworthy. Wait, what the hell and hell is that? Show yourself! Come down here and face and face and fight us face to face. Just sped through the entire city. I can't find anyone, but the voice is everywhere. Those mountains, and where are they coming from? And and the ground. It's heat and it's heating up like a volcano. Sad, and sadly, I can neither save you from your ignoble end nor from your unseen tormentor. This and terrible and that's terrible mournful sound. A sound that fills my ears alone. Millions crying out for help. I should. No, let the destruction be a reminder of the price to be paid by those who turned against me. <sighs> the failed experiment. My master was wrong to bring him here. I must begin again. So injustice was wiped out. At least this one plucked from the timeline. Yeah. That doesn't so, I mean, mean where they like copies. Yes, that's how I yeah. looked at it as copies. Yeah, like, um, Copy and paste versions. Like the original yep. is left, left in its place, but the, the copies are pretty much these. Yep. Now, of course, we then open and then we have the Earth's two um, heroes are rescued. Now, by this point, their Earth is gone, wiped yeah, out by I, Darkseid. Yeah, that uh, story I remember vividly. I was, it, felt I like, I'll be I, honest, it felt like once. Um, Robinson left there. Um, it felt like Earth 2's fate was sealed no matter what. Pretty much, yeah. But all to be fair, at least like, it, was it was still sealed. told like kind yeah. of a continuous story. Yeah, that, that that actually that actually made it enjoyable to read on the first one. It felt I, like I have... beginning to end. It felt like you yeah. know, left from one to the pretty other. Pretty much, yeah. It was, yeah, and it was not to mention it was a story about a pretty much a losing battle where everyone and, just, just, yeah, and it also be fair. Robinson kind of set that up from the beginning. Mm. When you really think about it, the fact that Apocalypse had been wanting to invade them for, for, for in general, and as soon as he brought back the other Superman, which originally was supposed to be the true Superman brainwash, that's when you kind of feel like, well, what else are you going to do then? Yeah, turned into bizarro. And... Well, that was Tom Taylor who did that. Yeah. But this is where we get a summary about it all, about how we have these different... Um, Earth, you know, Earth two versions of the heroes. We have Val Zod, Green Lantern, uh, Jay Garrick, uh, Thomas Wayne Batman, um, and Dick Grayson, and um, yeah. And moments ago, the four of us, the four of us, were making a final stand against Apocalypse. With the Earth about to fall, we were transported here. Whether that was Darkseid's plan or some gr sort of cosmic gratitude, we don't know yet. Gratitude? I just lost everything and everyone I care about. And you're looking for gratitude? My wife and the countless others died believing in heroes like you. Oh, uh, um, you failed them. You failed everyone I ever loved. How dare you, Grayson? You, yeah, I recognize you now. Dick Grayson, war correspondent. You were never in even near the front lines. Did you think we were going to turn back parademons with flowery words? Stories about real people with a lot of stake and no superpowers to help them either. Look, I'm sorry for your loss, but you aren't the only person who lost a family. My mom is gone too. And if I'm honest with myself, I'll admit the odds I'll ever and see her again are a billion to one. Yeah, she's safe. She's one of the lucky ones to make it off world. 
but no one knows if she or the rest of them will even survive long enough to find a new place to call. Huh? What? I can't breathe. Get it off me! And this is where we're introduced to, uh, and we have um, Yolanda. Yolanda, who is the red avatar of Earth. Hmm. More recently alive than dead, and now, mm, I, I'm alive. Back up. Are you out of your mind? I'm happy to be alive, is what I am, and you should be too. I heard every word you said. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Life's too short. Tell that to the people who died. I don't need to tell them anything. I was with them. I was part of them. Every avatar gave their life for our world, and being avatar red made every death feel like my own. I just got a second chance, and you better know I'm going to spend it like I only got one breath left. No apologies. Okay, hmm. some of the right, and again, obviously, as a carryover from Earth 2, this wasn't bad, even though it was done by different writers. No. Yeah. I mean, it's annoying for this event, obviously, but... Uh, yeah. But yeah, um, he's saying, like, the Earth's green is no more, yet he still has power somehow. Um, uh, uh, those are not attacked by these creatures, and she's even got Wild claws, machines. just like Wildcat. Oh. Yep, um, like, the artwork is great here. Mm, that's the role. Yep, intruders. Why are you here without your city? Our city was destroyed. We were the only ones left. As far as I could tell, we may not even have a planet anymore. No city? Unacceptable. There are protocols for bringing guests to Telos. It is strange you arrived without a host city. Could I have miscalculated somehow? Basically, I'm pretty sure that is what it was. Um, I, I waited until the last moment for oblivion. Too soon would court cosmic disaster. Just as my master always said. So basically, he plucked him just a few bits too late. Ah. Uh, uh. He brought us here. Why? To continue the work of my master. According to his purpose, his design, the ultimate god machine. He who will judge. You have no power over us creatures. On the contrary, without me, this place, you, you would in this place, you would be dead. And yet you are not. You are here, the final police, the last of all the worlds that we were we were or ever will be collected. Perhaps it's a sign. The signal my master told me would one day come. Yes, it must be. And this is where he starts the game. Hmm. Basically puts out a big call, but pretty like to and to fight one world opposed by another until only one remains. A perverse tournament. One I predict you will not survive. Behold, as I reach out to all that inhabit my world and speak to them as one. Citizens of my world, I have brought this convergence upon you. Now is the time. The hour is near. Judgment is here. Only one city shall survive. Only the strong. Since your arrival, I have been the air that you breathe, the water you drink. I am the very ground you walk upon. I am your starless sky. I am this world. I am Telos. I have tended to your every need. But now the domes of fall and champions much rise. Never have the powerful among you been more necessary, for you are about to partake in the greatest experiment of all. Your time is ended. Your worlds are dead. But I have the power to grant one city a future. Some of you came to me at a time of infinite crisis. Others were brought here in the final moments of their zero hour, whether it was a flashpoint for a time that never was or of kingdoms that will never come. <laughs> Everyone here was granted life as a result of my dominion. That changes now. Nice references! Mm. Yeah. I just read them. This is pretty much Secret Wars! Yeah, all right. Uh, Desert with, planet well, and... Some Secret variation Secret. of it. Yeah. And tell those it's pretty much the Beyonder, just not as powerful as the Beyonder. Mm. And today, your cap captivity yeah, turns to competition, and only one city among many will survive this day. Defenders of each domain will battle the other, and only the greatest of heroes will live. Deny me, your people will be destroyed. Disobey me, your cities will be crushed in my hand. Dare to circumvent these conflicts in any way, and the citizens of every city will pay the price. There is no room to make common a cause amongst you. No quarters given. Only one city will survive this day. Only other, all other worlds will finally know the dark embrace of oblivion. Just look at that. We got um, some very, uh, pre uh, pre in crisis. Um, uh, the Earth two, um, yeah. Earth three, uh, Flashpoint Earth, yeah. Kingdom uh -huh. Come. Um, 
Futures End. Yep. Um, and Amazonia. Okay. Uh, no, I think that's what to be Earth Prime, I guess. Earth oh, Three. Boy. Um Good to be anything. Um, um, One million tangent, Zoo yeah, Crew. Zoo Crew, um, Wildstorm, um, Vampires Who Never Were. Yep, exactly, exactly. So many of them. Like, like, you're crazy. If you think they're going to fight each other, they must fight to defend their people. This can't be what your master had in mind, Talos. It's madness. No, it is destiny. It is convergence. Witness. It has begun. It has begun. Doomsday. Yeah, again, but this this felt like a nice love letter, if you ask me. Yes. Considering how much the new, how yeah. separated the new fifty two had been from oh, the, the, what people liked. Uh, yeah, uh. the world. Um, we see a moment beforehand. We get a nice summary about some of the last moments before Dick Grace and the others. Um, when he was pulled in. Yeah. Someone, um, yeah, it's you know, taking um his son away, and then whoosh. Mm-hmm. Uh, we 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 basically get a summary of what happened with the Earth Two, you know, the end of Earth Two. Yeah, probably um, necessary recaps. Yep, these people aren't your placings, Tellos. Let that, let them go. I can no more free them than you, Kryptonian. They can free themselves by fighting your death matches. Call them what you will. They will fight. You will choose. Never. You're mad. It's saying we're just ants in an ant farm to you. If you will not, I will choose for you. And there, the most recent of breaking acquisition, a timeline populated solely by hostile warlike cyborgs. Future's end, in other words. Oh. They will make an intriguing match with this world bored of a great creator whose time was cut short and lived, but who moved on to serve his purpose on another planet. The control voice demands we fight. Oh, uh, je- oh! Born of a great creator whose time was short-lived. Just imagine. Oh. See, that's the just imagine world. Oh. Hard to track the fight when no one fights. Uh, it's, um, I believe those cities need some coaxing. And yeah, they're wiped out. This there was a could... slaughter. Yeah, that's not you know, fair. Not the fair. What ultimate? What could this be seen as a? Well, again, everything. I'll take that to as a as a DC as Mar- well, the DC no, as Marvel. I don't thing. think so. I just felt they, I think they just felt like it had to be. They had to pick one, and it was that one. Hold on a second. Mm. One second. Okay, that's a friendlier way to look at it. But I still find it funny, though, that DC still loves this universe. The point where they did some a dedica- a bet, a better dedication than Marvel ever did to Stanley. Hmm. Because, come on, let's think about this. A whole graphic novel dedicated to the universe he created. Not graphic novel, but, you know, special. Yeah. A hundred-page giant. And yet, it's like, and what did Deep Marvel do? Womp womp. Hmm. I mean, I've talked to other creators. They all agree. It's ridiculous, isn't it? It is. It really, it really is. And the fact that the competition did better than the company the man created. Yeah. So, again, I think that it was just they needed someone as an example, and they went with this one. I don't think it was meant to be a jab. Uh, okay, that's a friendlier way to look at it. Yeah, it just had like, Someone had to. Hmm. So, they, so I think they were the unfortunate. But again, the world is fine by the end. Mm. But anyway, so yeah, they break free and leading to a, you know, them trying to deal with all something's going on with Green Lantern as he's tapping into the power of the planet. Yeah, the green. Which I answer. like that. Yeah. The whatever it wasn't green the green, is. but it did the trick. And now if you remember right, um, um, Tom, if you know about this, Thomas Wayne has been using yeah. Venom to keep him going. Yeah, because like a miracle, like a miracle. all man stuff. Yeah. Uh oh, did I say I was one with the planet? I'm sorry, too weak. I can't use my powers again. Then I, I will be the one to end this. I love Valzad. He was a great creation, an original character. He's different than the Calvin Ellis, even. Yeah. 
Not to mention he even had an actual like, good development during the Earth 2 saga. Exactly. A great character. And probably one of the things that, of course, you got to give credit to, to, to Tom Taylor, not Robinson. Mm. But, um... Oh. But yeah, so yeah, they sense that like the energy of the planet was toxic to its system. So like that means you have the knowledge to defeat him and get us off this rock. So yeah, they're trying to figure out what to do. Like so in other words, they're just stuck in here trying to know again what to do. But so far, Batman and um Grayson are doing you know, Batman and Robin pretty much <laughs> as close as <laughs> we'll ever get. Yeah. But they're trying to just do a research as they head into a bat cave. Yeah. How are the two men from different worlds would build two places so similar? I'm gonna find out. Stay here, don't touch anything. Stay here, don't touch anything. Hey, would she stop treating me like a sidekick? Who's there? Oh, oh God. It's Barbara. You looking in the shadows. Come out where I can see you. I was frozen, couldn't speak. So help me. If you harm Bruce, what do you say to your dead wife? I love you. I wish we had more and hadn't fought. Like mm. we have people here now, Miss Gordon. People in the back cave. I'm trying to get a hand on the situation myself. So yeah, Alfred. Yeah. And it's, this is a post crisis, like really pre flashpoint. Yeah, pre flashpoint, exactly. It's, I, I was brought here by Batman. Excuse me, sir. Dr. Thomas Wayne, the Batman. He's up there looking for your, your Mr. Wayne right now. But I mean, what type of man is he, sir? You're Batman. I love how Alfred just rolls with this. Yeah, you know, kind of cautiously, like, like give, well, give cautiously, like, okay, yeah. how do I, okay, yeah, okay, how do I, are you here to kill us? Are you here to follow through with yeah. what this, what this mm. being has sent? Yeah. Because obviously they've been stuck here for a while, so of course, it's not like they've been plucked out immediately. Yeah, they all spent a year there. Yeah, um, you see, Alfred knew in that moment what I could never guess, that what Tom, so we're actually having the moment. Yeah, not to mention, yeah, would, this is the Batman ink suite. Yep. Um, that what Thomas Wayne would discover at the top of these stairs was a young man whose father's death propelled him to his present role. And what Bruce Wayne would discover was a deeply disturbed man at the end of his life, whose son's death propelled him into his. So interesting, here we have Batman, Bruce, meet the Earth 2 Thomas Wayne, whereas Superman would eat meet the Flashpoint Thomas Wayne. Yeah, that. Yep. But this Bruce never will meet the Earth 2 and, and the uh, Flashpoint Thomas Wayne, because that will be the uh, New 52 version who would. Remind me to tell you about uh, some Thomas Wayne's I've wrote after we have done the recording. Oh, yep. A wounded father and a wounded son come to life from opposite ends of the same path, facing the only person who would ever truly see them for who they are. When kids are young, you lie to protect them. But older, at the end of your life, you don't. It's the time you need to hear the truth, as painful as it can be. I, I'll be honest, though, I always prefer Earth 2 Thomas over Flashpoint Thomas. Yeah, the Earth 2 was more like a an improve, like a second attempt to yeah. use well, the same concept. Fair, Flashpoint wasn't bad until Tom King got his hand, but even that, I don't fully blame Tom King. Yeah, he was clearly yeah, doing because something with the, 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 Joshua Williams also got, had a hand to it, adding the exactly. guns that he had in the animated movie. Because the comic uh, version, if we were, yeah. went to go went through it, I could point to a point at you that he never used guns. But I want to say this though, when it comes to, I would say this: the whole with Flashpoint Batman, him wanting to turn Bruce around, I kind of get it because remember this, you even though. I do not believe the Flashpoint Batman that we see here in Convergence is not the he, the one we've been seeing Tom King wrote never went through that. Oh. Did not go through any of that. Mm. This was the one that was from the button, not here. So that mm. was a Batman who never dealt with the multiverse. So as far as he's concerned, he's probably thinking there's just the one Bruce. Which is what mm. Williamson would reveal then. Soon he would he would then be shown all the others, and he soon realized how wrong he was. Mm. And I like that. That I like. That was a good yeah. justification, wouldn't you say? It kind yeah. of justified yeah. everything. Good, ju yeah, good justification, but the execution was up. Well, well, the execution of him going as far as he did, yeah. Mm. But the ex but the explanation, at least, you're like, it, yeah. It's like he was trying to do anything he can to break him. And he knew how stubborn Bruce could be because he's as stubborn as he is. Yeah. But anyway, um, 
But yeah, so they just have this nice moment, and that's a, this is just powerful. No words, like except for the narrators. Well, yeah, yeah, but um, one Superman, two Superman, red Superman, blue Superman. <laughs> I find I would find this funny if it wasn't so horrific. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's the um generations. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to uh, figure yeah, out which Superman, Supergirl this was. Yeah, that's the generation Supergirl. Uh. And that versus red and blue. Yeah, the well, red which and would, blue. Which would mean that's his, that's her brother. For, this would have been the moment where he killed her. Ooh. Because look, notice that's the uh, Lucha Super with an S on it. Oh, damn. It took, it took me to realize it too. Yeah. That's what I brought not... up when, uh, when yeah, a Superman yeah. and Lois started to come out and they, had, they had made the whole thing that. Only one of the brothers has powers and the other one doesn't. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I, but, I kind of... Yeah, to... but in this, well, in this one, though, it was a case where he was exposed to gold kryptonite while still in the womb. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I seriously, I, that was I, that was one of my earlier um, pro teachers noobs, and I still love working. And, go, and it's still one of my favorite Elseworlds. Yeah. Except for three. Three is when it went off the rails. Huh, yeah. Well, what is but it? Anyway. Is so yeah, they're still trying to figure out what's going on. As you can tell, I'm not going to read everything because the be yeah. fair, there's yeah, so we'll much. Here. We're only in issue two, by the way. Okay, and the here is yeah. probably where the artist got switched out or something has happened because uh, Bruce yeah. has the different bat to it. Yeah, that's yeah. Like what the heck? Well, to be fair, wait a minute. Let me go back. Yeah, yeah. because that's the Batman ink suit, and what? that's the. Well, to be fair, remember. All this had to be ready to release weekly. So the editorial didn't have much time for corrections. Mm. But is everything all right, sirs? Thank you, Alfred. Alfred, we need to be on our way. Here, a bodysuit? No, not, no, not just of any bodysuit, sir. That's lightweight, high ten, uh, and tensile Kevlar. And, where, and what did you get? The keys to the Batmobile. What? I'm So I'm not going to get the drive. Uh, which I, so I'm not going to get the drive. No. Maybe you can at least show me how to operate the weapon system. Absolutely. And perhaps if there's time, you fancy a nice cup of Earl Grey. Of Earl, oh, sorry, absolutely. And perhaps oh, if there's a time, you'd fancy a nice cup of Earl Grey. How did you know what kind of tea I drink? I guess it's reassuring to know that across the multiverse, some things never change. Mm. You've grown into a hell of a man, Bruce. If your father's anything like I am, he'd be very proud. Take care of yourself, Thomas. So again... And also the thing to account also the experience. This time it's dealt with the apocalypse war, among other things. And he saw his Bruce become Batman. Mm. King um Flashpoint uh, Thomas never did. His Bruce died. Yeah. Well technically this he, he this guy's Bruce died too, but he died uh, yeah, but, 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 in battle yeah, and yeah, he is Batman, Batman in a Yeah, so I think this Bruce saw him become Batman. Flashpoint Thomas never did. Mm. Oh, and no, we went back. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Let me. Yeah, you're right. Because even here, again, probably they, they, I can accept some of the editorial slips. Mm. Oh. Unless, unless the artist for some reason mistook that for Dick Robin, uh, Dick Batman. Oh, in the same company as the. Yeah. See anything and see anything flash, but yeah, they're trying to figure out what to do, and then they see someone be attacked, and it's Deimos. Hmm. Which I got okay, I will be honest. Utilizing Deimos, as we'll see here from Warlord, was one of the most ingenious ideas. Yeah, considering how obscure. how known the character. Oh yeah, Not obscure. Really. Yeah, obscure character that it also introduced to some readers who probably don't know it. Oh, by the way, I gotta say, them using Una here for, that was introduced in um, uh, uh, Paul Cornell's, you know, um, yeah, Batman and Robin. Yeah. The fact I, I liked her. Too bad that you know, she, you know, you think she's prominent, she ain't. Mm. But yeah, have again, Deimos, but again, from Warlord, great youth because of the character. This is a case of utilizing the toy box that you never would have thought of. Yeah, that's more or less what. Jeff like Johns, was, yeah, Jeff well, Johns is not writing, but, but Jeff Johns is probably throwing ideas and 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 helping and doing stuff that to, to to help to yeah. well 
Lead the charge and uh, by example. And this was exactly. only one of his examples. Probably, but unhand me, vile thing. Unhand me or feel my rest. Yeah, if you can fuck any villain from all across the mo- in our history, someone like him, a smart, powerful user who most people never even utilize. Because most of the time they just pluck Warlord and that's it. Hmm. But anyway, so yeah, they're fighting off against a bunch of the robots and then excellent download. The others will fall to my drones with the Kryptonian out of the fight. Now is no time for distraction. Not while all my cities are fighting so well. All save one, the city of Kandor. They just stand there and talk. Why must they be difficult? Oh dear. So yeah, he's trying to convince them and look, Nightwing and Flamebird! Oh. No, it did go somebody to it. Yep, I know. So, but yeah, again, they're trying to help out. And so while he's distracted, Belzog gets freed. Yeah. Man. Oh, oh, geez, look at that Batmobile. Yeah, that's the one from Morrison's run, the one that flies. Yep. yep, that's my kind of ride. Can I take it for a spin? The Batmobile is no longer operational. We took some damage during the flight, which means he broke it. Ah, <laughs> uh, cool cameo and something that can't be used anymore. Yep, and oh, oh, geez, he just kills Nightwing. Murderer, and he just wipes him out on his own, as an example. Uh. But yeah, it's only a matter of time before the mad god returns and he puts me back in his prison. I, and I sense something Tellos fear. There was something in the center of the planet. Tellos is as much a slave of, of, to Brainiac as you and I, but I found the knowledge and power to stop him and free you from this world. Follow me and you will find the answers you seek. And the other thing is, none of these guys know about him. So as far as they're probably thinking, he's a good guy. Yeah, even when and he has that you know, like, I don't like how he smells, but it's like, uh. yeah, there's no one, because almost none of the Marvel DC heroes have ever interacted with him before, when you really think about it. Oh. Like even said, there's somebody I need to take care of. So it's like, look, we barely know each other, but you're not the type to leave your friends without a reason. They don't need an old man slowing them down. Not, I mean, not, and why not just pop another pill? Because I'm out of Miraglow. That is why you should have gone with the others. Besides, someone followed us from Gotham City, and I don't think it's anyone good. So yeah, they're heading down under there, and it's like, good news, Fred. Our perseverance is rewarded. It is still here, the entrance into Sk- Skataris, his land. Oh, Skataris, yeah. Yeah, that's his land. Hmm. And the, like he was drawn. Oh, look, we get a uh, monarch and um and um Perdigaton. Um, and... Yeah, that's where all the time traveling villains have been put. Like Scar is no man's pet, but if Deimos needs you and all these other masters of time, it's best you look. You I, I lock you away, where not even he can get to you. Do you see, Bardock? All the others captured at vanishing point are still are also trapped. Ah! Of course, I gotta wonder which monarch is this, but I don't really care. Mm. Oh, but yeah, this is where all the Batman villains show up. Professor Her, Pig, yeah. um, so many of them. They come in to fight him, and I love this. That's Dr. Hurt to you, Flamingo. And I say, first we kill this Batman, then we kill the other one and his boy. That's it. Get closer. You'll never hurt another weight again as he blows him up with him. Mm. Oh. No, different artists. Yeah, that's actually. Like... Yeah, we're gonna, yeah we're getting that. But Doctor Hurt, he was. Uh, yeah, there was that much to... with him afterwards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not to, me, not to mention in Batman R.A.P. He and 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 when Bruce went to turn, he was trying to pose as a seemingly back from the dead version of Thomas Wayne. So he looked just like him. Yeah, not to mention he was basically he was Earth Thomas Wayne from a few generations back who. So yeah, so the case where he took one. it back. Uh, there's two. Uh, there is a Thomas Wayne and the and the and the. Yeah, so it's fitting. Yeah. Hmm. It was fitting. So he's walking up. The guy who poses Thomas walking up to Thomas. Yeah. But he, he basically he took advantage of the whole. Some people in your generation might look just like you. Hmm. But yeah, so Joker's there. But then Kellos and Telos kills him because he wants to know where are his friends. So yeah, this one was oh. done by Steven Segovia. Hmm. Who we've seen before. He's um 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 hold on. All right. 
he was the one of the guys who worked alongside with um, Lionel Francis Yu during all the Ultimates Avengers. Okay. Yeah, I've got the shadows and uh, yeah. the coloring. So yeah, they have a different artist for there. Um, here we got him again with someone else. As uh, yeah, Telos is just torturing him. And even like his name was Thomas Wayne. Thomas then. Where are the rest of your friends? I can no longer sense them. If you're gonna kill me, then you continue to misunderstand. I did not bring you here to kill you. I brought you here to save you. Uh, or at least give you the opportunity to save yourself. But you and the others from your world need to join the convert. So in other words, he's just trying to put them in the game. Mm. I am not an enemy, Dick Grayson. I could be your god even, but only if you win. So yeah, we're seeing them down there as they um if they're meet, you know, interacting and finding he's explaining about it. So and Skataris Sk was once a haven for and for those lost, both animal and man, until the warlord came. Now he rules all. What did you do to these men, Demos? A silencing spell to keep them from alerting the castle. We should kill them and be on our way. We don't kill on our man. I meant only that they are a danger, and we best not delay, Superman. Warlord is holding prisoners. So he's putting it all on Warlord because he knows with a name like Warlord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know them. That's to the Warlord. Again, we're not here to kill. Fear is a weapon. Let them feel it. Demos has returned, Maria, and with allies. We need our king, um, uh, Ma Mashis. Where is Warlord? Why would the Lizardmen attack now? So he's distracted. Oh. They're fleeing away from the castle. Then we're going back. And after the battle's over, we need to find out where the hell we are. Another world falls. Batman, not yours. A darker one. Uh... Yeah, Kingdom Come, Batman, and uh, Jim Ballet got Yeah. One. Yep, it is a testament to the human spirit, an experiment in fortitude. But, and what you're doing is wrong. It is my command. So refuse your command. Tell Brainiac no. Why? Tell us, I've seen what you've done to this world. The power you have could save them all. And why would we do that? What would we learn? The strongest will survive. All, and all that. Um, so yeah, again, they're fighting, trashing through, overroading. Yolanda, find Deimos. I think we've made a mistake, because that's when he's realizing. I, I should be able uh, to hear Deimos' heartbeat or see him through the walls, but he's gone invisible. Oh, dear. You don't see what happened and what's happening. Telos believed it at the end for all of us, but he's wrong. What's wrong? I think that's supposed to be, um, oh, what's his name? Um, oh, yeah. It was in the JLA Wildstorm crossover. Or Wildcats crossover. Um, oh. Hold on. I'm recognizing that suit of his. Um, Epoch. That's Epoch. Um, I told you, if we all agree to fight on the side of Warlord, I will release you. So, oh, so in other words, this was Warlord doing it to keep him out of Deimos' hands. But at the same time, uh. mm. but yeah, throughout all this, Grayson is trying to you know, convince like, you're not just a planet, you're sentient, you're alive. Am I? I was. I am. Yes, Brainiac gave me life. And I see words. So he's trying to convince him to fight his program. All right. Mm. But then um, I'm afraid I wasn't entirely honest with you, Yolanda. I am Deimos, yes. But I am also a high priest of the darkest of magic who has wanted Kataris for my own for years. But now I can have so much more. My dark power has shown me the secret to this world and beyond it. And Telos, what about Telos? Telos believes what Brainiac has told him. He follows him blindly. I'm offering you a chance right now to follow me, but with eyes wide open. No more secrets. My instinct is that I should slit your throat right now. And my instinct is never wrong. You think because you have a connection to the red that you have the power to face me? You are a child playing with forces beyond you. Mm. The red is a life energy that all animals share, yes. But it's simply a splinter of the light and darkness, that is all. Ah, I smell another animal tapped into the red. Step aside, Shakira. You don't need to die today. What a... <laughs> so, yeah, fighting them off. And then, um, yeah, he was like, I'd rather die, our man. That's the um, future, our man, of course. Huh. But yeah, so he's there and he's like, I can see all of your timelines now, Jake Eric. 
you were the first to encounter a breach of the multiverse in a long time, a, a lifetime, life long ago. I understand why you were at the center of all this. You were the original heroes reborn, the first and now the last. I don't know about that, Deimos, but we are here to stop you from hurting anyone else. And that's uh, um, Warlord's trying to hurry it back over there. They are here at the center of the world. Oh dear, Telos, I suppose it's good to have you here to witness the truth behind the convergence of worlds. This is my ultimate opportunity, the ultimate barter. The power of the Time Master summons you, Brainiac. I can free you from your prison. Davos, what do you want? Free me and you shall have it. So he's been locked away. In a theosphere. Yep, which is referencing future, uh, Future's End, if I recall. Oh, no, um, yeah, Future's End. Huh. Now, no, this, uh, now this is fitting, having Andy Kubert draw this since his father worked on Warlord, if I recall. Ah, oh. so yeah, it's like what? And what's Deimos done? He has summoned my creator. Uh, release me, Deimos. What have you done to Brainiac? Nothing yet, Telos. My force field will keep you back at a safe distance. Free Brainiac, or your loyalty is misplaced. Thanks to the power I absorb from the Time Masters, I can peer into your timeline, and I know your true name. That for knowledge is forbidden. I am this world given life and sentience by Brainiac. Deimos, my and my and Deimos, my true name is Telos. No, it is not. Free me, Telos. Telos, no, Brainiac. Telos will never do anything for you again once he remembers not only what he is but who. So yeah, he was from another world. Who from with the, the Blood Moon and Brainiac showed up, took him and converted him into pretty much his herald, just like Galactus would for Silver Surfer. Hmm. So he was yeah. so he was just the last survivor of his world as well, being manipulated. Huh. So yeah, we see um the Lizardmen attack and slowly um his wife T Tara gets killed. Oh boy, I could love Andy's Kubert artwork on this. You were removed. Yeah, the, something that Andy Kubert did has to, is somewhat it's a facial expressions. Yep. Yeah. A bit over I, the top. I, I, so I have a, I have kind of a, of a mixed bag kind of uh, that's a kind of a, uh, criticisms made with Andy Kubert's art. Like sometimes there's the over the top models like, and, and heights and some things that don't look 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 in scale. But when it comes to the expressions and emotional reactions, those are always done well. And, the, yeah. and not to mention these art styles should be uh, should be an animation style also. It should. But yeah, so he's wiping out all of the warlord characters because now he has all this power. Huh. So yeah, they're trying to stop it. Like, forget Brainiac. This is my fight now. You want it, Deimos? It's yours. I can feel my magic rupturing yourself. I can feel. Let go. Magic might hurt me, Deimos, but it won't stop me. I've mm. seen the future, Superman, and I will. Lois and Clark together again. The Titans hunt, reunited, hunted, reunited. What is it I see? You like on? On? Are you really think Telos could be on our side now? We could use the power. Telos? It is Telos. That is all I am. Yes. Rise. So yeah, Warlord is making his way there. He finds Tara after he's dead and has one last moment before saying, or I, I'll return with help or I'll be joining you soon. So yeah, they're just fighting him all out and then, yeah, ready to drain his power. Bell and, and Jay are down. Telos isn't any help. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we should, uh, but should we try to release Brainiac? Yes. No, your past and future may be invisible to me, Brainiac, but your present is not. And stop! With you again banished, Brainiac, no one will stand in my way. Deimos, warlord! And he takes him down easy! Just de-ages him! Not de-ages, he ages him, sorry, ages oh. him up to dust. It even says, um... We've been at odds for so long, but now, now our feud seems so less important. So once he now feels he has a bigger grasp, it's like, oh, I don't care anymore. Oh, what a sad end. But, but, but everyone else was killed off, so it makes sense. Mm. Mm. But yeah, basically, you make him the main villain, he has to wipe out his enemies. Mm. Like, your friends have left yeah. you. Take my hand. It is the only chance of survival. Oh boy. So they realize they got to get out, but now the game has changed. And Dick has taken up um, Thomas's weapons. Oh. Brainiac's former occupation chamber. You don't that... know it. 
Go ahead. Looks like from the ship from Alien. It does. You don't know it, Yolanda, but you were there during and during the first Nexus event, the first convergence, the crisis. So, oh, because she's a reborn version of Yolanda. Yeah, she is Yolanda. Yep. Uh, I'm talking about when you were Wildcat in your former existence. Don't worry. So basically they're saying these are reincarnations and that's something that the ending plays up on. Mm. Can you hear me? Uh, citizens of Telos, there is no more need to fight. You will have a place in my new reality as long as you pledge your lives to me. I have banished the being that brought you all here. I have saved your lives. I will protect them for a price. Uh, yeah. So again, Tello's being coming oh, usurping as the main villain. Again, great idea. It is. Now, this is in th their universe. They are just witnessing what's going on. Basically, no. the convergence is going to have an effect on everything, but not yet. You have your team, uh, and you and your team are traveling across the universe and back, Manhunter. How concerned should we be about this? And tell us on a scale of one to ten. One being, I can get back to my ping pong game with Shazam. Ten being the universe is about to collapse on our head. I, I'm not sure I can assign a number to this yet, Cyborg. The disturbance is unlike I mean, anything we've encountered. Oh, is there the jail um, I? Or jail you? Jail you? Or uh, what? Justice League United. Was it called that? In, yes, jail you. It was jail you, oh. Justice League United. A, okay, that sounds, uh, sounds familiar. Yeah, that was Jeff Lemire's uh, stuff he did. Yeah. Wait, oh, look, we got the Oracle. Supergirl, Superman, um, and the Red Lanterns. But yeah, it looks like the planet's trying to push its way through. The Red Lanterns, Cal, after what happened, I know you're uneasy around them, and so am I. But they aren't here for you, Kara. No, we ain't soups. My lanterns are patrolling this sector now. We got word that there was a little problem, like half a planet poking its crust into our reality. By the way, the big guy was you. He tends to show up when they're... Because remember, the Oracle was their watcher. Yeah. But yeah, so there, everyone is witnessing this. Even, um, uh, uh, what was his name? Nick uh, Swoton. Yep, Nick Swoton and Darkseid. Uh. Um, I, nothing is to side. Not for me. It is time for war. Because he doesn't, it doesn't concern him. Yeah, they stand like, you heard my offer. If you pledge your loyalty to me, you will survive. If you refuse to acknowledge my power, you and your city will perish. Who are you? Where are you? I can see him. The fool. I give you one hour to decide. Look at them, Yolanda. I never would have imagined so many worlds that so many iterations of your friend. Superman, The Flash, Green Lantern. Why do they resonate like this through time and space? What is so special about them? Why do you want to rule them? Rule them? These beings are uncontrollable. I'll never end. Wait, so he survived? Injustice hmm. Superman survived. I'll never rule uh, them, Wildcat. Why do you keep calling no, me that? It is your happen. true name. You and who you were and who you were and will be. Forget about me. If you can't rule them, then why? I'm going to lead them to their death. All of them. And then with the magic of death, a new universe will be born. Mine. So he just wants to kill them all for their energies. Oh. Uh no idea what world this one is. Okay, uh, being... unless, unless, oh, oh, could that be one of the, um, those Marvel XP worlds? Could be. What was it called? Oh, yeah, the Extremis. Yes, so it is yeah, that. That's... that's the Extremis. Oh. Lord Havoc. Oh. It's Lord Havoc's men, so yeah. Um, but and again, oh, Beast Boy, Wonder Girl, and um, Star, uh, um, and Starfire and Cyborg. So yeah, they're helping them. Oh. I think Richie may be a bit premature. So yeah, all the Titans are there. With this is all there yeah, with Superman. Everyone, I'm glad. I'm glad we could be here to help. But I need to get back to my wife and son. Wife and son, you think what I'm thinking? I'm the Flash. You're the Flash. If there are more, they'll work with us to save our world. We just need to find them. Flash to the right. This is an opportunity. For what, Superman? I mean, the Superman I don't know. Oh, God, this is confusing. How are we supposed to fight a living planet? We aren't fighting the planet anymore. Talos disappeared. Deimos changed the game. We've been forced to play. It's not city for the city anymore. 
It's those who are willing to worship him versus those who won't. Guess which one we are? Everyone get word to those who think they can help. We aren't giving up. Why and why aren't you going out any and why aren't you going anywhere? Because I need to talk to you. To me, why? Because you may be the most important player in all of this. Right. That's a joke. I don't have any powers on. Uh, it's not about your power, Strick. It's about your perspective. I've been listening to everything on the planet since we got here. I've heard every conversation you've had with Telos. We're going to need his help. And I believe you're the only one that can get it. I leave that up to you. Wait, how? What am I supposed to say? If you're anything like the Dick Grayson I know, I trust you'll figure it out. So yeah, I'm running around trying to tell everyone, like, I'm not Superboy, I'm Superman. Keep telling yourself that, kid. Hey, I'm serious. <laughs> Me too, kid. A little too serious right now. The sky, it's red. Oh, and he meets up with uh, uh, Barry. I thought I was the Flash's man, Phantom Man alive, but maybe that's you. Like, so yeah, he's calling out to Telos, trying to talk to him, even saying, oh, he ordered me to do such horrible things to the people he brought here. So he's almost like Silver Surfer once his memories were restored. Yeah. But he's had a chance to correct a mistake. It's kind of like, it's kind of like that meme from the interview. The same, but different. Yep. But, but not exactly the same. Exactly. My true name. Demos may unlock and unlock, have the power to unlock it. Yes, I will help them all. They, they were cast aside, forgotten. But they will live, Dick Grayson, and they will fight for our future. You can surrender now. Surrender? You're outnumbered, Demos. Outnumbered, Superman? You'd be surprised how many you and will follow you when they think their lives depend on it. Kill them! Oh, boys. Okay. Kingdom Come, Flashpoint. Um, and Kingdom Come, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and... With Flashpoint and the Crime Syndicate. Oh. Uh, this is... That's not right. Yeah, those characters should... Uh, and, of course, the extremists and, and all that, but, um... Uh, that Superman doesn't look so tough to me. Kill them! Kill them, and this world is all yours. With pleasure. We're almost done here. Hmm. Like, I will not retreat, Superman. I am curious. I am the great oracle. I see all past and presents. So why am I so blind? Makes sense. Lobdell pretty much created him, so it's fitting that he uses him. Yep. So yeah, they have no idea what's going on. But again, all this just to show the effects of everything as they're now going to get away, because clearly something bad will happen. Oh. But, um... Yeah, how can we save everyone? You cannot. Hmm. So yeah, they're fighting them all. Deimos called us off. Are you working with Deimos? No, my name is Yolanda. I'm not here to fight you. You heard Deimos, Johnny. We killed those standing against him, and we live. And I don't want to die. Cowards! That's nicer than what I was going to call them. Please, all of you, there's enough sen senseless deaths. And senseless? Heck, this is fun, Superman. Hard to believe that's Wonder Woman in any universe. Ha! I always love how... The Flashpoint Wonder Woman seems to get the worst pet hatred of everyone. Pretty much. Well, when it comes well to deserve. Yeah. So if the, if you have if you need to need to list out like any worst okay. worst version of Wonder Woman, you could it, it would be it's either injustice in, or Flashpoint. either injustice or the Flashpoint version. But except that the infamous in, in, injustice one is more more well known. Uh, well, uh, the Flashpoint in that. universe is hated by everyone. Hmm. The extremist Supergirl regrouped and ready for the a Kryptonian this time. Wait, do you hear that? As Telos um, is finally making a move. The power oh. of death is already circulating through my veins, Telos. The power of hatred, desperation, envy. If he's as powerful as he's claiming, he wouldn't have backed away when Telos attacked him. And But can we trust Te and Telos, Supergirl? I'm going out on a limb and say we should. He's coming back, Legion. Get... You know the truth, Telos. You weren't born from this planet. You were born on it. You were once mortal. You will be again, and uh, you can't. Uh, you will be again, and you will die. Did you hear that? You see that? It's gone, Superman. But it's why is it so familiar? Demos's power is golly. By tell, but Telos is weakening him. Diana's and Diana still. He needs assistance. Demos, a word. You dare? Of course I dare. I'm Hal Jordan. You've given me a headache, and I have things to do. I'm tired of being trapped on this world. Trapped? You'll be buried here! Oh, like, along with Telos. Yolanda, did you learn anything about Deimos? A weakness. Not exactly, Dick. 
but I know he doesn't care about any of these people. He wants us all to die. That's why and where he's drawing his powers from. Did you hear that wo uh, woman? Uh, she's speaking the truth, or at least what she believes is true. So Damos just wants us to die? Looks like the bad guys and girls just open and got an eye opener, hot girl. It's hot woman. Whatever, I'm on your side. Uh, whatever, I'm on your side now. Uh, uh, Barbara, my friend. So, oh yeah, I forgot she was friends with her Barbara and Cheetah. Huh. Like, I wouldn't have said it was Deimos, but I wanted to get back to Sapphire so badly. I'm sorry. It's okay, Rex. We all turned around. And, but, and what do we do now? We get close to that mess. We all die. We have to do something. Yolanda? Yolanda? I can smell it. What? Deimos, can you hear me? Wildcat, you may be high and mighty to everyone else, but I can smell it. You're afraid of Telos. Me? Afraid? You and your army should be. I will not kill you, but I will restrain you. Those that have hurt others in your name, they will be in prison until I return them home. I may have once been something else, someone else, but I am connected to those worlds now. And this power and my power is my power, not yours. How come and how and how you let someone like him get out of control, I'll never know. I was passive, but no more. Tell me my true name, Deimos. I know you know it. You think you can stop me, Talos, with your renewed fortitude, your new friends? Nothing can defeat me. Nothing. Wham! You're the worst kind of villain, Deimos. One opposed, uh, obsessed with power for power's sake. You wield it for your own selfish needs. But power like that can not, and not only save life, it can revive them. My universe, my world, my co city, you bore me. No, I'm not. I am. He's gone. You destroyed him. Of course I did. Now revive our respective universe and send us all home. Or maybe tempted to do the same to you. You don't understand. Deimos had absorbed the power of a group of time travelers. He had absolute control of the history, past, present, and future. He just hadn't realized it yet. And now, what is it? That power has been released. The or um, Oracle moves Superman, Supergirl out of the way before he is destroyed. As they're saying, all the energy is going to be released. But I like that. Deimos just didn't, didn't realize the full power he had. Hmm. Like we've, we, we've been brought here from parallel worlds and alternate timelines from the past and the pr present and the future to fight one another for survival. So wasting our time on someone as insignificant as Deimos annoys me. Yes, and you have killed Deimos, Parallax, but you've also sealed our fate. I saw a pathway home, but it disappeared it, because this planet exists outside of the multiverse, Dawnstar, and its existence threatens to destroy it. When Parallax destroyed Deimos, he recklessly unleashed the temporal energy stolen from the Time Masters. The what from the who? Ain't the what from the who? The power that once resided in the time travels is returning to the core of this planet. It will soon ignite. The convergence of the world has become a proverbial bullet that will shatter the multiverse. It can be stopped. I can save us. How, Jordan? I noticed Jordan. He can't be trusted. I know what's best for everyone, Diana. If you did, you would have rendered Deimos unconscious rather than kill him. Release me, Telos! Deimos may have destroyed many of the men and women that service the time stream. There are others we, we can turn to. Even now, I can sense them on their way. Heroes! And gather all the lanterns and free me. I will take their rings and... And what? Another zero-hour level event? No. No more reality bending from you. I can feel the vibrational frequency of this world accelerating. Me too. It's subtle, but it's growing. What's that mean? It means the countdown has begun. That oh, one. Down. Yep. Then let's hope we're not too late. These booster go. Now to point out this wave rider is also booster. No, you are thinking back. Yeah, in the, the, yeah, in the yeah, the, yeah he's yeah. the pre-crisis, post-crisis booster who was. But then reverse merged them back together, it seems, because he's now acting like more like him. Hmm. But anyway, so yeah, basically I kind of would like to like to think that. It didn't happen because we could justify the well, keep because, no, and, I'm just saying because and when, heroes um, in crisis as well, the new and gold, younger yeah. version being a rookie. Yeah, but, but basically, the um, blue and gold and when Jurgens was doing act, um, DC Rebirth action comics, both mm. appearance of Booster and those was pretty much um, pre um, New Fifty Two Booster, mm. right down to the dealing with Black Beetle. Ah. Uh. But anyway, so yeah, Wave Rider brings back and releases Brainiac because they need him. Like, 
I will destroy you all. And then what, Brainiac? You'll be destroyed along with the rest of reality. I thought you were the most intelligent being in the universe. <laughs> Universes. I wanted to be the most intelligent in the universes. The multiverse. Am I? What am I now? Like you, Telos, I am not who I was. I feel pain now. I feel lost. Kalu. Brainiac, you need to help us stabilize this planet. If you don't, I know Telos, my servant. My experiments have failed. I was not always this monster. I was once the designated Brainiac from planet Kalu. So basically, from what I understand, this is post-crisis Brainiac. But when I observed the, uh, the, the flashpoint and survived it, I sought for something more to become more. So, so in other words, he then started to witness everything. He observed everything. One, saw other brainiacs. Saw him. That, that, that's oh. what I mean. This is why I said this is post-crisis. Yeah. I saw me and those reading of me, others staring back at me. I reached into the multiverse for more power to evolve as the monitors had. But then Infinite Crisis and uh, Mr. Mind stuff in 52 changed him. Huh. And he emerged and they were basically becoming cancerous. Oops. And thus they realized, like, yeah, like, is everyone back home, back on Earth and their respective worlds? Even the Red Lanterns had loved ones they wanted to say goodbye to. Because they think this is the end. Oh. What's Brainiac doing? I am serving, severing Telos' tie to this world and taking it for my own. I will channel the temporal energies within it and return you to your home. It is the only way to reset the multiverse. And what about us? We don't have a home to go to. Choose a universe and I will send you to it. Choose a universe. I want ours. My son is still out there. Our people are. All that concerns me is div in divesting myself of this power in the chance that it will turn me to normal. I am funneling the temporal energies, and No, Brainiac. There's something blocking me from sending everyone home. The first crisis, it is too strong. If it is not changed, the multiverse will once again collapse into one universe. Supergirl in the Flash, I must send you back to your timeline. Your face, we know our face, Brainiac. If this is the only way to restore the multiverse and save everyone, we'll do it like we did it before. So those, they, they uh, oh yeah, you, you know your destiny when you are sent back, Flash. Many of you will return to your death, to worlds with no tomorrow. Uh, we're and we're going there too, aren't we? We don't and why? So don't send us back to our timeline. Send us with them, Brainiac. We may die, but we'll die fighting. You don't have to go with Barry, Superman. I'm going with them. You, I don't want to go back to my universe. I know you don't believe in me, but I want a chance at redemption. Maybe I can help save Supergirl in the Flash and whoever else is in trouble in that timeline. I want a shot. I, I don't know what happened to Hal or what he went through, but we don't have anything to lose. I'm huh. like, I'm going to, but you have to send Lois and my son somewhere safe, Brainiac. Clark, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, Superman. You have a family here. We're going with you. I can't put you two in danger like that, Lois. If you're going, there is no danger. You always save the day. This might be different. We stand together, those, and th those were our vows when we got married. What do we need to do, Brainiac? I'll send you back to the first crisis. You must prevent the collapse of the multiverse. Then everything will reset and return to what it was before I brought you all here. Then what are we waiting for? Now, people took this as this was when the multiverse reborn. But then Dan DeDeal did a tweet that actually made it interesting. This was the birth and actually the birth, the creation of the new 52 multiverse. Oh, if you know that, that was the change. Mm -hmm. Each of them changed. Like this is the pre-new the pre 52 Um. Earth 11 to the Earth 11 we got. Uh-huh. I, I, I do afraid that. That's the um, world's finest version. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, but each one of these shows that this is how the multiverse, the New 52, came about. You know, Earth came about. Yeah. So it didn't truly create, like, and they did. Each wor world has evolved, but they still exist. Uh -huh. So looking back on it now, that makes more sense. Yeah. Doesn't it? Kind so this of. Is, this, this, then, of course, Death Metal would bring back the, um, um, the, make it an omniverse, and then Dark Crisis would fill the multi, the, dark, the omniverse with the infinite Earth. Yeah. And everyone kept saying, like, but didn't it come back with this? Not really. Uh huh. When you really think about it, but even that, Brainiac says, Already I'm being pulled back to my own reality, to Earth Zero, where I will be restored. 
But for daily, I love it. But Brainiac, wait, these people. I have the knowledge they existed. That is all that matters. Ha! So yeah, but uh. Telos saves them all by yes, the plan is destroyed, but um, he's able to then restore it to become the new a new Earth two, and they're back mm. in their universe with his connection back to the green. He brings everyone back, and there are the. Yep, the, the the survivors of Earth to of their Earth. Yeah, that's Dix and a bot and, and Earth Two side. Yep, that's. And but as far as for the new Fifty Two Earths, they're like the planet's gone. It is. It blinked away from out away from our universe. But I have a feeling we'll see it again. But yeah, so that was it. That was Convergence. Hmm. What did you think of it? Uh, some, I, I'm thinking about something positive to say about it, and <laughs> <laughs> it, okay, it yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't have anything, ne anything obviously it negative to say is. about it. But, it is yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. That's all you can say, really. It is uh. what it is. It was meant to be a filler, but at the same time, it did feel like a crisis. It just didn't have much impact in the end. Yeah, not yeah. It wasn't much impact, and whatever impact it did have, it's something, it's something that you need had to be pointed at and. Then further explained. Exactly, but overall, though, as a crisis level, because the best this would count as a crisis. It would. It's bad because yeah. as bad as it got, like it was ready to wipe everything out. Yeah, but for what it was, it was a bit all over the place. But mm. not. It was okay. It's average to go by TV tropes. Would you agree? It's so okay. Yeah. It's average. Yeah. Yeah. Not um, somewhat underwhelming, but uh, still a uh, good. But the reason because it happened in the middle of New Fifty Two, and uh, and and they see three New Fifty Two characters again. Yeah, it, it was it was a good time. It was, definitely was. I gotta say, um, Parallax was interesting. You know how he was used mm. because it felt like, of course, he would be one of the bigger threats. Of course, mm. but. The whole, how did they undo the crisis? We never know. Yeah, like that's... a hint in one story about them going back and they attacked the anti monitor, but they never made that clear. What did they prevent the worlds from remerging? But then, how does that make sense? Yeah, it's kind of hard, not to, especially when I still I need to get yeah. back to writing for the part two the yep. commentary yeah. of what is basically spoken of being prevented. Yeah, but it's, the flashes and Supergirl's deaths. Yeah, but I'll talk about There's a reason why when I have when I have this book, I put it right alongside the Earth Two book because that's pretty much what this is. It's a glorified yeah. Earth Two book mixed into a crisis event. Yeah, I mean, Telos ended about amounting to nothing. His miniseries basically ends with uh, Parallax taking his power and leaving him stranded, and we never see him again. Oh. Yeah, stuff like that. It's like it basically, I would say this: they put a lot of work into this, clearly. Mm. But it felt like they put a lot of work into something that amounts to nothing. Wouldn't oh. you say? It's like it's weird, isn't it? Like so much work, all the build up to this, the tying us in the doomed and Earth Two and everything. Mm. Yeah. But. And the fact that Brainiac didn't factor much into it, and then you just had villain like the passing the baton on who the villain is. Yeah. Characters getting killed off or brought in. Oh, How many drafts do you think I they actually, wrote for it? I bet one. Hmm. Uh, anyway, Jeff King signed mine. I actually met him at a convention. Good for you. Yep, nice guy. You can definitely tell he did care for this stuff. And I'll say this, it shows that there is care into this. This wasn't done haphazardly mm. i think the big problem is it's so self-contained it's not that most of its implications of its grand grandiose was more implied than anything else yeah like not to mention all, the whole opening yeah. with injustice they could have just made injustice to be the convergence yeah but nope and then um Again, there were some nice moments in here, but the fact is, like I said, it, there was just too much of Earth 2 in this to make this important. Mm. Yeah, because like, the only thing I really like the... about it is Deimos. It's the only thing I really mm. like about it. Yeah. Not to mention, it's the main characters of the 
mainstream continuity, it was a new thing to uh, well, you know, interact much with it. Then. The most we got was the Oracle's death. Yeah. That was it. Everything else mm. was just, they observed. Mm. And in the end, like, oh, that happened. Yeah. Yeah, and because it, when, like, when it, when, because when the, the because this was a two month event, like, like yeah, all of these issues of, came out once, one per week. Yep, it was a weekly, yeah. Oh, so uh, so basically, after it ended, every every all the other series that said just moved on business business as usual, as if it didn't happen at all. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so. For what it was, but still more of a, a um, crisis than um, Flashpoint. Oh, yeah. In that sense, that it actually set out to do, do some kind of connection to it. Exactly. Flashpoint on, on itself was a last-minute reboot. Exactly, exactly. Just tacked on to the end when he was restoring it. To the point where if, I could still see those last few pages where they're wearing the new 52 outfit of them wearing the traditional outfit. Because that ending really doesn't make it clear. It's simply like, oh, you put it all back? As far as I know, ha! Mm. That always made me to laugh. Every time I see Barry say that, like, you put it all back, as far as I know, it's like, you don't know. You don't know how uh, much has changed. Yeah. But yeah, again, over, I give this a six. A good six, yeah. though. Yeah. It, it, this was a six for its importance. The story was, meh, but not bad. Again, it's just in the middle. You feel nothing about it. That's the weird thing. Out of all these events, you don't really feel anything. You at least yeah. feel something for zero hour. Yeah. The toy in for, for this series, they were the yeah. ones where... Had, Everyone had that the... says that. Even TV tropes that said the tie-ins were more important than this. Mm. But I will say this, yeah. though. I did love those little jabs when, like, some of you were plucked from this, or, what, another zero hour level event? No reality warping for you. I was like, mm. I love that. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah, but again, overall, it is what it is. So next time when we meet up, we'll be going over Dark Knight's Metal. Okay. And then Remember to that, check out my rewrite. Yep, I will definitely before then. And as far as that, then we will have Death Metal and then Dark Crisis. Yeah. Oh boy, Death Metal. Who? Boy, oh boy, I'm going to decide which of the tie-ins to cover on that one. Because I'm not going to go all of them. I'm just gonna say something that I'm gonna keep probably give as in a up. The darkest night was a mistake. The tar- yes. I get it. He wanted him to be the big final villain, combining with Manhattan's powers. Yeah. But it was more, more or less but that. Petro was a great villain! Yeah, but Petro was a great villain. But the Batman who laughs should have stayed like as a psychological horror villain and as a as, a, as basically a an man, aspect of man. batman's fears or or negative attributes or some or or some kind of yeah not a cosmic level it. threat yeah yeah no not, not that just making him a, a psychological horror we'll villain. like we'll basically what that. mr scratch is to alan wake yeah we'll get to that though we will get to that yeah yeah so, so eventually but, yeah but yeah until then give you guys on the next one take care And may your heart be your guiding key. Yep.